Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLSI. In this video, we are going to discuss about the system function which is known as dollar fill. So this basically this particular system function will detect a falling edge that is from 1 to 0 transition. So it is going to check for 1 to 0 transition of a signal. So basically this particular function will return 1 or true if the expression transi uh, transitions from 1 to 0 in the current time step. So otherwise it will return 0. So let us uh, understand this with a example. So let us take a clock. So this is our clock signal and uh, these are our positive edges of clock. So you can uh, take either positive edges or negative edges. So we are checking our assertions at the positive edges of the clock in this particular example. So this is first clock edge, second, third, fourth, 5, 6, 7, 8. So these positive edges of the clock are our evaluation points. These are our evaluation points. These are our evaluation points. Okay. Now, uh, let us take some signal. Let's say it is X. Okay. So first, let me write the code for that. So sequence. Let's say my sequence name is SAQ underscore example. And this particular sequence is going to check at the positive edges of the clock, at the rate passage of clock, my dollar fill of, I should check for X, okay, and end sequence. Now I'm going to declare a property, ppt underscore example. And this property will consist this sequence underscore example. And I'm going to end this property. And I'm going to assert this property. Assert property PPT. So I'm going to check whether this particular uh, assertion is getting passed or failed. Okay. Now I'm going to draw my uh, X signal. So let's say it is zero initially and it is becoming one here and it is getting zero and it, let's say it is zero for two cycles and uh, it is becoming one and it is staying one for two cycles and again it is getting zero here. So like this some random signal I have taken. Okay. Now. So let me change my color. So at the first clock edge, we know the current evaluation point at the current evaluation point at the, that is at the first clock edge, we should not consider, we should not sample the values exactly at the uh, pause edge, but before the pause edge, we should consider the values. So it is equal to zero. That is at the current evaluation point, your value is equal to zero and we don't know the value at the previous evaluation point. So here the assertion will get failed. Okay. Now at the second clock edge, your value we should not sample the values at the same clock edge so in the in previous session also we have seen okay so we should not consider the values at the pause edge exactly at the pause edge that is before the pause edge we should sample the values okay so it is equal to zero so the current evaluation point <clears throat> so at the current evaluation point your value is equal to zero and the previous evaluation point also your value is equal to zero so there is no transition so that's why your assertion is getting failed at the second clock edge now at the third clock edge, your value is equal to 1 and at the second clock edge, that is at the current evaluation point, your value is equal to 1 and the previous evaluation point, your value is equal to 0. So there is a positive transition, but your dollar fell is going to check for negative transitions. Okay, so that's why your assertion is going to fail here. Now at the fourth clock edge, your value of uh, your value of x is equal to 0. Okay, at the current evaluation point, you're sampling the values before the clock edge. So that's why your value is equal to zero. And at the previous evaluation point, the value was equal to one. So there is a transition from the positive to negative edge, from positive level to negative level. Okay, so that's why here your assertion will get passed. And at the fifth, uh, fifth, uh, fifth clock cycle, the current evaluation point, at the current evaluation point, your value is equal to zero and the previous evaluation point, the value is also equal to zero. So it is getting failed. The session is going to get failed because there is no transition. And at the sixth clock edge, your value was equal to one 
and the fifth clock edge it was equal to zero so there is a positive transition not negative transition so that's why it is going to fail and the seventh clock edge also it is going to fail and the eighth clock edge it is going to get passed because at the current evaluation point your value was equal to zero and at the previous evaluation point the value was equal to one so that's why it is getting going to get passed so that's why uh, that is how you're going to check <coughs> whether the assertion is getting failed or not when you are using this dollar fill system function okay yes so this is how you are going to uh, check to use your dollar fill function if you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about vrsa thank you